Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailmon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today is the 1st of February. Well, it's actually not, but you are seeing on the 1st of February. I've been showing on Twitter and Facebook that I will be playing 50 different, all 50 tournament keys for the Players' Cup qualifiers with 50 different decks, okay? How is it going to go? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea, but the goal is to qualify, right? The goal is to qualify. Will I be able to do it? I don't know, but I'm certainly going to try my best, okay? I'm certainly, certainly going to try my best. So we'll see, see how it goes. There will be a ton of uh, hopefully fun moments, a ton of intense moments, a ton of suffering, <laughs> drama, and hopefully entertainment. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. The first deck we're going to be playing is Orbital. I basically took all 50 decks and I randomized them. So it's like, I don't have to think on what deck I want to use next. I just follow my list that I made. Um, here we go. Yeah, here we go. We see a grass deck box. It could be an Orbital VMAX mirror match, which would be a very interesting way to start the day. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we shall see what happens here. All right, so key number one, we got a heart, a hello. I have a good deck, apparently. Um, we're going second. Not the best start with no Orbital. My opponent being extremely friendly. <laughs> so shout out to Junior Leon. Um, this generally could be a mirror match. Okay, no, it's ADP. Never mind. It's just ADP. Okay, so the Wondrous Labyrinth might be useful. <clears throat> the Wondrous Labyrinth might be useful right here. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Guzmahala to find a capture, discarding the, these two. Yeah. Okay, so there's a capture. Uh, Cher will get a U-turn board. And I'm gonna get the stadium, right? I'm gonna get the stadium. I don't wanna immediately play this. Okay, so I'm gonna do capture energy. <clears throat> grab the Orbital. So ADP obviously gonna be a tough, tough matchup. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bench the doll and then we will draw. So like stopping the GX is basically impossible for me right now, but I can like hopefully they play either they, their chaotic well or whatever stadium they're playing and then I go boom Wondrous Labyrinth, right? And I'm glad they played a Crushing Hammer right now because the energy on the Snorlax does not matter for sure. Right, the energy, no, my Wondrous. Okay, well, I guess, I mean, we have Tackles, we have an Argus Mahala, we'll, we'll have the Wondrous Labyrinth for later. Um, like I said, happy that my opponent is using Crushing Hammers on an energy on a Snorlax rather than energy on my Orbitals, right? Definitely happy with that. No complaints right there. Not the best hand for us right here. But we'll see. Yeah, we shall see. 
This is gonna be tough, though. This is gonna be tough. Okay, so my opponent whiffs the GX this turn, which is um, really lucky overall and definitely gives us hope. So I'll do this. Okay. So maybe I should start getting some damage into this. Like, I could go quick pull away the Cynthia Caitlyn. I could definitely go quick pull away the Cynthia Caitlyn. I mean, 10 damage is 10 damage, right? 10 damage is potentially useful. Okay, let's go for it, yeah? Let's go big or go home. Could also get Fion. I don't dislike the Fion. Because then that would mess up my opponent and then he needs a switching card on top of... Um... Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. I am actually... Well, no. No, no, no. That's that's being way too fancy. Right? That's generally being way too fancy. Just going to go ahead and attach. I hope I don't regret using up this Malolana. And I'll Eerie Beam. I hope by the end of this game, I'm like, wow, that 10 damage made such a big difference. All right, and then we'll Gormandize. All right, this is looking pretty nice so far. Okay, so here's the plan. Well, no, because I had to attach that energy on turn one. We'll see, we'll see. If I can stop the ultimate ray, right? I mean, stopping it will be very difficult. But not impossible. No, that this hand was so beautiful. Still no metal energy for my opponent, though. That's crazy to think about. <sighs> okay, this is not the best hand. Not the worst either. Um, there's no way they whiff metal again, right? Absolutely no way they whiff metal again. My play here could just be to attack the ADP. Yeah, there's a the metal. That generally could just be my play, right? Because then that stops the Snorlax from getting KO'd. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. No thinning of the other ADP. Right? No thinning of the other ADP. Okay, so there's the GX. We're definitely gonna use the Stadium, right? That also shuffles my deck. And then I'll go ahead and Bird Keeper. Okay. So if I get an attack off right now, like, that sets up the KO right here, right? And that's good. If I let them just attack the Poke Doll, does that help me in any way? Like, it helps me in terms of energies. I don't know what's in my opponent's hand, though. I feel like being aggressive. Like, I've been punished before for not being aggressive enough, so I'm just gonna go for the G-Max Wave. And we'll attack the first hit, sure. It's just, I'm outclassed, you know? I am definitely outclassed because I won't have another attacker. I won't have another attacker. They take minus 30. I need five damage counters on there. That's not happening. What? Okay, that is very peculiar. That means I get three damage counters this turn. That means I get three damage counters this turn. Okay, so there's the ultimate ray. No boss still. No boss play still. Yeah, the the stadium play is is too late. Maybe I should have just played the stadium since the beginning. All right, so what do I do? Like, obviously I have the knockout on the active, right? Mm. 
Let's do this first, right to 10. I have three extra damage counters. Yeah, I mean, I think it might come down to reset stamp, honestly. So I'm gonna attach this energy and then let's go Eerie Beam. And then I go Retreat, right? Then I go Eerie Beam. Then I go switch into this one. And I go Eerie Beam. And then I go Bird Keeper back out onto this one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see myself needing this. Um, Fion. Fion brings up the Crobat. It doesn't help me at all. Dead Age Change gets me closer to the stamp. The extra damage counters don't matter anymore. So, Dead Age Change it is. Then it change it is, right? Just get closer to the reset stamp. There it is, right? There's a reset stamp. So GMAX wave, we get the KO. So now they get return KO and it will come down to them having another attacker and boss, right? And also tail flips, I guess. We'll see, we'll see. They promoted Crobat though. I mean, that probably indicates they have a balloon. There's the other station. We see a switch. We see a quick wall. Yeah, so their goal right now is to power up another person. Eldegoss. I mean, no, they're gonna Marnie me. Oh, that's brutal. And it's actually brutal. ADP is supposed to go like dig, 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 dig. Now my reset stamp is at the bottom of the deck. Come on. Yeah, and now there's no way to attack their hands. My hope is that they don't have they don't power up. I mean, it's not going to be easy for them, honestly. It's not going to be easy for them, that's for sure. So they could still have mobile, right? But with me not attacking their hand, this is just going to be brutal. Because now I have no draw. Yeah, no draw for me. No draw whatsoever. Couldn't even get a Marty off of... All right, so not liking my situation right here. Drill these two. I mean, sure, I'll take the Wondrous Labyrinth. All right, so we'll ear beam. The issue is I don't threaten game. <laughs> That's the real issue. I don't threaten game. I don't threaten game because nothing has energy. I think that's the biggest issue of all. Well, Marty could be useful, I guess, if we don't lose this turn. And ADP with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 card hand. So maybe using the Denny ended up being my demise. But how would I have how could I have expected that? Like triple Marnie. Like Marnie back to back to back. Every turn that my opponent's played. That's just brutal, you know? That's just brutal. Yeah. Benching that the Denny might have been my demise right here because now they got the ghost without boss and now they're gonna go crazy with the dna plus research and they're not down a single metal saucer 
They're not down a single metal saucer and they're only down one research. Okay, their attachment there is actually really good. Right? The attachment there means now they are committed to three metal saucers. Which doesn't seem outrageous when they have all four of them left. And they can still dead change. Definitely doesn't seem outrageous. What did they lose with the research? Tool scrapper, it doesn't matter. They did lose a boss and a switch, I guess. Yeah, so they're thinning the metals. They're gonna have to change here. They need two of their last three metal saucers. And they fill that, so that's one less card they're thinning. That's good. Wait, do they not play the thinning? What the heck? <laughs> It didn't attach energy either. Oh. Okay, well. Oh, if I had a... If, okay. So what's better now? I feel like Wondrous Labyrinth might actually be better now. I actually feel Wondrous Labyrinth plus Marnie. Because if I stamp on Marnie, that makes no sense, right? Yeah, Wondrous Labyrinth. into, well, stamp to two, like how do they, no, I, yeah, stamp makes more sense, I think. Yeah, I think that's that's a play for next turn. I'll get the two damage counters, so healing is not going to be the, the reason I win or lose. So I'm gonna do this, Ramalana. We might have a chance. Yeah, we might actually have a chance. I'll keep this over here. And then I'll stamp. Yeah, I have to stamp. I have a genuine chance of winning this one. Yuri Beam. I think I have a genuine chance of winning this one. Oh, maybe Wondrous plus Marnie was better though. Two damage counters away. Oh, the damage output is so low for this deck. Where's my Buzzmosa? <laughs> okay, last hammer is a Tails. So they flip three Tails, one Hands. This is an intense game. Like, what a start to the series, you know? Okay, we get Marnied. If we get Boss, we win now. Because they can't KO us now. Unless they have a second Great Catcher. If we get Boss, we win. No Boss. Darn it. If they attack me with Seishan, though, we win. Oh no, never mind, we don't win. Oh. What the heck? They play everything. Well, but you know what? Now they can't Metal Saucer, though. Oh, they really got the energy? They actually got the energy? No way. Oh, wait! They attached it. I win. I win. Right? They attached the energy. Oh. They attached the energy. We won. We got our first point. <laughs> we got our first point. With Orbital VMAX. <laughs> we're going. We're going to the Players Cup. Wow. Wow. That was... My opponent didn't seem like he was playing the Dene, though. Right? Like, it didn't seem like he was playing the Dene. Okay, give me Colossal VMAX. My opponent chooses to go first, which might signify... Okay, I have the U-turn board, so I'll just start with this, and then maybe I'll start applying pressure with this. Okay. They ch choosing to go first probably means ADP. That confirms ADP. I was planning on using this guy anyways, I think. Uh, well, not necessarily, I guess. Not necessarily. The fact that they don't have an ADP down and they committed the energy there is actually good. They're down a Metal Saucer, that's also good. Okay, so I guess we'll see. You know? I guess we'll see. 
The reset stamp is incredibly valuable though. Incredibly, incredibly valuable. <sighs> okay. Are they really gonna get another energy of Intrepid Sword? No, okay, good. All right. So if you weren't getting an energy, then you should get, use Prime Wisdom, because if you actually get an energy from the top card randomly, then that's really bad. Um, I don't know if they're playing Hammers or not, so I'm kinda skeptical on... I definitely need to set up with Snorlax, though. But if, what if I avoid using Snorlax, however? Like, if I don't use Snorlax to set up... That might be good. I think I want to avoid using Snorlax to set up. I'll get rid of the switch. Oh, I can still go this Snorlax, because now my hand is dead. Now my hand is dead. But I mean, doing 30 doesn't really accomplish anything, right? Yeah, I'll use, I'll use Snorlax. I need to, I absolutely need to. Fortunately, I absolutely need to. All right. So I'll do this because that energy is not searchable. Retreats and then I'll go Gormandize. All right. Okay, solid start, solid, solid start. If they're not playing Crushing Hammers, I could start applying pressure to them, which is good. Best case scenario is they whiff the GX attack, right? And they're already down, oh no, they're not down any um, energy switches. Yeah, so I guess attaching to the station is fine. And they need energy switch, but it's not the end of the world. That Rangu probably means they're gonna research right here. Yep, saving something, probably a metal saucer of the sort. Down the Great Catcher, that's really good. Down a boss, that's also really good. There's the energy switch, that's fair. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking, definitely evolving, so if I bench this guy, this guy could be taken down, and I think I need to avoid that. So what if I go Bird Keeper onto this, do some damage, and then spread with Posmosa, right? I think I like that play. I think I like that play. So we'll bird keeper into this. Oof. The wondrous labyrinth could actually be good. I could also play that, right? And just wait a turn. Because then if they have four energies, yeah. You know what? That's I think that's the plan now. I'll do that. I'll bench this guy. I'll definitely attach the weakness guard energy, and I think I'm playing this. I think I played this. And I need two spreads next turn. I need this guy to be healthy, right? So I go out into this. Or this. I think I go out into this. Ah, oh, please don't be playing stadiums. Immediately attaches. See the primate wisdom. Oh, nice. Okay. So far, so good. So we delayed the attack successfully by a turn, right? So let's do the ear beam. I don't know how. Now I don't know how that helps me. 
Because I don't get the KO anyways, right? I don't get the KO anyways. Okay, I should definitely do this though. The stamp, the stamp is the key here. The stamp is the key. Well, depending on, do they go just boss KOs Norlax? Is that their play? If I remove this stadium now, Going too hot. Yeah, it's just not enough actually. Ugh. Okay, what if what if I now I attack with Bosmoza? Actually, yeah, I think that's the plan now. Now I attack with Bosmoza. I take away this stadium and now I attack with Bosmoza. I'm I'm honestly super improvising right here. <laughs> I am honestly super super improvising right here. And I go. I feel like I will have five damage counters on this by the time this attacks. So I'm just gonna jet punch over here. Not super sold on that either. Oh no, you know what? You know what the plan, Ugh. I As soon as I attacked, I realized what the plan was. The plan was to attack the ADP, leave it about to be dead, and then KO it with Peace Game GX. And if they didn't take a prize that turn, I would have been okay. Now that's a problem. That is the second boss with a great catcher down as well. Yeah, Zilli's no relax. All right. Ultimate Ray. Yep. So now our stamp is less good, obviously. And I do 200. Yeah, I don't even KO this. Hmm. Okay, it's not looking good now. It's not looking good at all. That might help. Okay, now I can definitely set this guy up, right? Because if they take three prizes, that doesn't matter. I actually encourage them to take three prizes. Oh, so maybe I could have retreated into this. Nah, this is fine. Well, it's my only play, really. Okay, so... Let's go... Eerie Beam. Why did I promote this instead of this? I'm dumb. I just missed out on 10 damage. I just missed out on 10 damage. If you had 270, don't think that matters. Yeah, I just missed out on 10 damage. Silly Paolo. So the Malawana doesn't really matter, right? in terms of like healing the damage. Well, it might matter against this guy. I have way too many attackers set up. I don't know, like I don't know what I should have done differently. Maybe I should have just attacked with Orbital and made them commit more energy to the Wondrous Labyrinth. Maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe that's what I should have done. I generally don't know. I generally don't know. Down two bosses and the great catcher. Okay, so hopefully they made the mistake of putting a good card at the top. <laughs> right, hopefully. Yeah, if they have boss, they win. 
right? Anyway, so this one I'm going to do. I'll evolve this guy. And then I'll go Eerie Beam. Can I actually afford to model Lana here? I don't think so. I think I just did it change. I have Bird Keepers and stuff to draw more cards. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, the Tool Scrapper is actually huge. Oh my god. The tool Scrapper is actually huge. We get double KO this turn. I get double KO this turn. That 10 damage my my opponent if my opponent has boss, they win, I'm pretty sure. Right? If my opponent has boss, they win. My opponent has boss they when they can KO this with Mola. But if they don't, we win. They didn't have boss last turn. That much we know. They did they didn't have boss last turn. Oh, they immediately promoted though. Prime Wisdom? No! No, that was their Prime Wisdom card! <sighs> I am so upset. Why bench the station? Oh, if I had... Well, if I had healed... No, the end result would have been the same. If I healed, I wouldn't have been able to boss. They didn't, didn't change a lot. Well, like, okay, technically I don't know. That's fair. Technically I don't know, but... <sighs> One point, you know? One point. I'll take that with Orbital VMAX. This is gonna be 50 decks, 50 keys, 50 decks. It's gonna be intense. There's gonna be a lot of raging on my part. I'm competitive. I I felt I was so close to winning that. After that perfect DNA, it's like the game gave me hope and then it took it away. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like. Hope you enjoy this series and I'll catch you next time.